Hi, I will show you how to install Windows 7 on Mac OS Sierra Wild Boot Camp. My MacBook Pro late 2012 with Retina Display can install Windows 7 32-bit version. First we need to create a Windows partition. At Spotlight Search, type Disk Utility. Highlight your Mac's hard disk and click on Partition. Click on the plus side to create a new partition. Select the size you desire. Windows 7 needs 7 GB. I will create a 13 GB partition. Make sure you choose MS-DOS format and name it Windows RW. When the partition is done, shut down the computer. It is very important to make the new partition MS-DOS format, FAT, and name it Windows RW. Remember this later, so you do not reformat the wrong partition. I will now place my Windows 7 disk on an external USB DVD CD drive and boot the Mac holding the Alt key. Not using Bootcamp gives me the flexibility to use Windows 7 32-bit version and also create a smaller Bootcamp partition. Once you see the Windows installation disk on your screen, restart the computer. Don't forget to hold the Alt key when the computer is booting up. Choose the Windows installation disk and hit Enter. Hit next and install now. The next part is a bit tricky so please be careful. Next click on I accept the license terms and hit next. Click on custom advance and make sure you choose the windows partition you created earlier. Caution. If you choose the wrong partition, you will end up erasing the Mac OS partition and lose everything. I will not take any responsibility if you make a mistake. If you are not sure, just stop right now the installation. When you are positive that you are choosing the MS-DOS formatted partition you created earlier, the one you named Windows RW, then proceed to the following step. Click on Drive Options and click on Format. This will reformat the partition you created earlier to NTFS. Click OK, and when it's over, click on Next to proceed with the installation. It will take several minutes, and the Mac will reboot several times. From now on, just remember, every time the Mac reboots, to hold the Alt key and choose the Windows partition, not the Windows installation disk. Once again, hold the Alt key when the Mac reboots and choose the Windows partition, not the Windows installation disk.
Soon it will complete installation. Be patient. Don't forget, again, to hold the Alt key when the Mac reboots and choose the Windows partition, not the Windows installation disk. Next, follow the easy setup steps to get access to Windows 7. Some Mac users will not have access to their keyboard or mouse, so using an external mouse and keyboard is recommended in order to proceed with the installation. At this stage we are almost done with the second part of the Windows installation procedure. After completion of this part, you should reboot to the Macintosh partition and download the Windows 7 drivers. The third and final step would be the installation of these drivers, and your Mac will become a perfect Windows machine. I will now show you how to get the drivers for Windows 7, 32-bit version. Sadly, since 2015, Bootcamp does not provide 32-bit drivers. If you are using 64-bit version, you can simply download Bootcamp Windows support drivers via Bootcamp. Save them on a MS-DOS FAT formatted USB stick and install them when you boot against on the Windows partition. All you will have to do is to run the setup X file and reboot. To get the 32-bit drivers, you can find them on a link that I placed at the comment section of this video. I also had people asking me how to install specific drivers, and I made a tutorial explaining how to do. Simply go to my channel, go to my bootcamp playlist and find the video titled, how to manually install missing Mac drivers Windows 7 or Windows 8 on Bootcamp. Click on the second link and it will take you directly to Apple's support page where they have all the old Bootcamp drivers including 32-bit version of Windows 7 and Windows 8. Have a look at all the available Bootcamp versions to find the ones that suit best your Windows version. There are bootcamp drivers for 32-bit version and other bootcamp drivers for 64-bit versions. When you find the one, or the ones that perfectly match your Windows version, download them, and simply use a USB stick to copy the bootcamp drivers. Make sure you use Disk Utility from Spotlight Search, and format the USB stick to MS-DOS FAT format, so it can be readable on the Windows partition. As you can see, it's quite simple. When you're done, just reboot to the Windows partition, and use the USB stick to retrieve the bootcamp drivers. I will quickly demonstrate again how to format a USB stick to MS-DOS FAT format. Please make sure you choose the USB stick to format, and not your internal disk. Such a mistake will wipe out one of your partitions. Make sure you choose the USB stick and nothing else. Simply drag the bootcamp drivers you downloaded to the USB stick. When the drivers are copied, simply reboot to the Windows partition. Again, holding the Alt key, and choosing the Windows partition. Now open the USB stick as shown above, find the bootcamp drivers, and click on the Setup X file. It will take several minutes to install all the drivers. When it's completed, you will have to reboot to Windows to get all the drivers loaded.
Congrats. By now, the Mac should be a perfect Windows machine. Everything should be fully functional, provided you install the proper drivers. You may now set up the default boot partition. If you wish to boot on Mac OS by default, here is where to choose it from. Enjoy your Mac. Hope you enjoy this tutorial. For your convenience, I will place this tutorial on my bootcamp playlist, where you can find me other bootcamp installation tutorials, including Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10, all installed on Macs with Mac OS 10 ranging from Snow Leopard to Mac OS High Sierra. I will soon make a tutorial on how to install the other Windows flavors on a MacBook Pro running Mac OS High Sierra, so stay tuned. At the end of this video, I will show you how to find my playlist, so don't go away, stay tuned. If you would like to see more videos related to Macintosh computers or Apple products in general, please go to my channel, Addicted to Macintosh, and look at the playlists. There are many videos on many different Apple products, including Mac OS High Sierra. You can also check my bootcamp playlist. There are many videos on how to install Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10 on a Macintosh. Check it out. Adicho Macintosh, YouTube channel. Hundreds of Apple related videos uploaded. Thank you for sharing, subscribing, liking, and viewing.